What's up guys, Sean here with Spencer's Lawn Care. Today I'm going to answer a question that I've been asked many times. Sean, why did you choose the Skag Cheetah over the Skag Turf Tiger? Alright guys, I'm not going to waste your time. This is going to be a real simple, quick video of why I chose the Skag Cheetah over the Skag Turf Tiger. Let's go ahead and just hop on into it. First, let's start off guys with the deck. Got the same exact size deck I wanted, the Velocity Plus deck. Comes on both mowers, same exact thing, so that means it's going to cut pretty much the exact same way. That was one of the key factors. Now, another key factor was when I went into my dealer. Now, this wouldn't probably pertain to everyone, but it did to me, is engine size, okay? When I went in there, they only had, they had three different engines, Kawasaki, Kohler, the Vanguard, Briggs, and Stratton. The Kawasaki they had was a, a bit smaller in horsepower, and I wanted the biggest horsepower that I could get uh, simply because that's what I've learned over the years. You know, the more horsepower, the more hours you're going to get out of the machine. And from what I understand, everybody says you generally get around 100 hours for every horsepower. So I was thinking 36 horsepower, 3,600 hours. Well, another reason was is... The engine itself, I wanted a 36 horsepower. And with the Kohler, they had a 36 horsepower. But with talking with my guy, he's like, hey, Kohler should have stuck to making, you know, toilets and all that stuff. And, you know, the engines, they've had a lot of issues with them from what my guy told me. So I went ahead and did the Briggs and Stratton, the Vanguard. That was another reason why I went ahead and chose this. The uh, Turf Tiger had the Kohler on it at my dealer. Now, that can change from dealer to dealer, but this is what they had. The next uh, thing would be is the cluster here. With the Turf Tiger, you get the fancy, you know, the, uh, what do they call it? The Tiger Cat, I believe it's called. And you get, you know, just like your, your blue electronic here that does all your readings and everything. I didn't need all that, guys, you know. I have an hour meter down here that doesn't work, but that's really all I needed. If the mower's not running right, generally I'm going to be able to tell right off the rip. I've driven these things, you know, long enough. You know, keep your amps up, you know. That was pretty much one of the reasons I chose this over uh, the Turf Tiger. I didn't need that onboard Tiger Cat or Tiger Eye, whatever they call it. I'm not exactly sure. The next thing, guys, fuel tanks, okay? This bad boy holds 16 gallons of fuel. The Turf Tiger only holds, don't hold me to it, but I believe it's right around 12, okay? So this holds roughly about four more gallons of fuel with the dual tanks. Uh, I do believe the Turf Tiger has a centralized uh, fuel tank, which some guys do like. That kind of keeps you low center of gravity. Uh, that was another reason I went ahead and chose the Cheetah. You know, I can hold more fuel. I can run longer. I don't have to fuel up as often. And with these big commercials that I'm doing, guys, the more time that I can spend on them compared to fueling things up is a plus. Now, another thing, okay, your, your ride comfort is a big thing. Well, everybody knows Turf Tiger has a great, you know, independent suspension, as does this one. You know, the Skag Cheetah has it too. Watch, I'll step up here. You can, you can bounce up and down on this bad boy, guys. It's, it's going to go up and down. And you can change this. All you gotta do is come down here and change it out. You know, you can you can have a soft or a firm ride. <clears throat> Pretty simple. You can move it however you want. Me, preferably, I prefer a softer ride just for my back. Super comfortable. So there wasn't a big difference in, you know, the ride for me. Yes, you can get uh, higher quality leather or, you know, whatever. These things I consider princess type stuff, guys. I don't need all that, okay? I'll just be honest with you. I want the most plain Jane. Keep me mowing. Cheapest mower I can possibly get with quality. So those were the main things that I chose the Skag Cheetah over the Turf Tiger for. And with all of those being said, it all came down to price, okay? When I went in, the Turf Tiger was $14,999. The Skag Cheetah was $11,999, so roughly about a $3,000 difference. So I couldn't justify, you know, the Tiger Cat, you know, the metal uh, fender covers over the plastic fender covers. 
Uh, you know, a few other things that are, you know, changed out on them. Uh, I couldn't justify that making up for a $3,000 more of a loan whenever I purchased this mower, if you know what I'm saying. And a big factor that keyed into that is I had roughly around $8,000, guys, to put down on the mower. Sorry, I got my hiccups all of a sudden. <clears throat> but, uh, had roughly about $8,000. So I didn't have to finance a lot of it, but I didn't want to have to finance, you know, roughly close after taxes, everything, almost another 8,000. So I was like, Hey, three, four more thousand. That's more, you know, right up my aisle. So with that all being said, price was a big factor, guys. You, you want to make a smart decision and this decision is different for everyone. Try all the mowers out. I'm not saying, hey, Cheetah's better than the Turf Tiger or the Turf Tiger's better than the Cheetah. I really honestly don't give a crap. When it comes down to it, I want something that's going to cut good and be reliable. I made that decision, you know, about a year and a half ago. And I had tried out all of the mowers, guys. I mean, I went Toro. I went Xmark. I went Skag. I went to just about everything in my area. Gravely. Uh, I even looked at a Ventrac, but the Ventrac's, whew. You know, as nice as they are, they're also pricey, fellas. But uh, I went ahead and made the best decision that I could make for my company at that time. And for me, I like plain Jane. You know, I don't need the uh, EFI, the electronic fuel injection. You know, I like carbureted. I like things that I can work on if I have to. And the original plan was to keep this mower for a long time. And, you know, after the two-year mark, I'll be doing things myself on it. That's why I wanted to keep it plain Jane, but, you know, moving forward here, I'm not sure exactly where we're going to stand with that. Uh, those decisions will be made probably in the springtime, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's why I chose the Skag Cheetah over the Turf Tiger. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. Yeah! <laughs> Take it easy, guys. Later.